everything Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything 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 Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything everything Chris <laughs> All right, anyone who's online, if you've got any questions for Tony, fire the bid. Uh, Tony, do you have any questions for myself? While we're like... Yeah, so um, tell me about what you do other than this. Like, I know you're into basketball. How how much into basketball are you? Like, you, you play? Yeah, I used to play a lot. So I'm, I'm into basketball. I'm, like, into it. It's a passion of mine. So, it's, okay. It's, so I've, I've done, um, uh, helped out with a... Uh, thing called the Pro Classic, which has gone for eight years, Pro Classic. So okay. they have a little summer league they've done for a good eight years now and I've been helping out with it. Just learning about just how to how the leagues run and how they run the leagues and the finance side. So you know like on the business side. And okay. I think um there was this uh award show called Yorkshire Entertainment Award Show. And I, I uh, this is when I was coming out of depression and one of my friends who had who was running it, he wanted me to host it. He's like, you know, you, you you know, you're joking, you've got that vibe and just do it. And at the time I didn't want to do it because you know, coming out of depression, you're not you're still not confident in yourself. Right. So hosted that show. And the next thing I know, I started hosting another event for Big In and the Manor, who I'm interviewing tomorrow. And then I started hosting his and I hosted his tour. So a lot of it was just getting myself confident in hosting and then I announced the basketball game. Okay. And then, and then afterwards one day I was sitting down and I was like, I was watching uh, this guy called Ahmad Rashad. He does this, um, he's a basketball analysis and he used to do these shows where he talked to NBA players and so whatnot. I was oh, watching yeah. it. Mm. So I was like, this is, I said, I said, we can actually do this over here, you know. Why have we not got, why have we not got anything like this over here? Like, I wonder why people, I thought, yeah, that's it. Light bulb moment. Bang. Wow. Why don't I start talking to players? Because, I've got a connection in the in the industry. I've got a great network. I know a lot of people already. Why well, don't I just use my network? And the next thing I know, this came about, and that's makes it. sense. Then, then, and I've got a passion for basketball. Because at first, I was gonna do a, a show where I was gonna do like you know, you know, you were saying before you're trying to impress everyone. I was gonna do music artists and have this artist and have this athlete. And yeah, one of my guys that said, "Listen, you like basketball right now. Not many people know about it. You are a niche." Why don't you just do a show where you just interview a lot of people in the basketball industry? Got a point. Makes a good mm. point. I said, and every, every now and then touch on other things. So that's that's what got me into it. So yeah, love yeah, the I hear that. That makes sense. Yeah, definitely go niche with it. Um, yeah. I did. Um, I went to a London Lions game. Is it Lions? I went to London yeah. Lions in Stratford. Yeah, I yeah, went to yeah. one of the, the games. Um, shout out uh, Tooks, Tooks. There's a guy called Tooks who me up with some tickets. Yeah. Um. So that was that was cool. Like I think we were like courtside as well. I was like, ah, we're moving up in the world. Yeah. Um. So that was pretty cool because it's. I mean, for me in basketball, it's obviously I know people play basketball over here. Hey, Marlo and Daniel, how you doing? So I know, but um, I didn't. Um, I don't know much about it, kind of thing. So when I went to the the, the game, I was like, "Right, wow, like this is, you know, this is a thing." Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it was it was we had a good time as well. And a lot so of people like, okay, know. there's a, there's a yeah. whole thing going on there. But like I say, it is um, is 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 niche, I guess, for for you coming into it. But that's also a good thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's also a good thing in terms of you know, kind of what you're doing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, man, I like it. I like so it. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people don't know about it because then people don't know how big it is. Right. That's the thing. It's not broadcasting up. So if you go to a lot of summer leagues and that, like Midnight Madness Pro Classic and a lot of that, you, you'd be surprised how big of a crowd there is. And everyone, and like when I took someone who never been to a basketball game, I took them and they were like, I didn't know this existed. Why, why come you don't know about this? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when I went I to went, that London Lions one, the place was packed. Yeah. Fact, and one of my friends plays for the London Lions, and he was MVP twice of the league. And again, okay. a lot of people don't know that, but you, you see, know, and he's still there now. So, yeah, 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 yeah. But how long you say you started this during lockdown? I st- so I was originally doing my show, 
which right. is on it's on YouTube now. So I did it in, I interviewed the London Lions player actually. There's a, there's a show I've done there on YouTube. Everything Chris, right? Like, the little cooking and that, and then because because I was going to do some more episodes, but COVID came in. Oh yeah, I went back to the team and said, "All right, what should we do next?" And they were like, "Look, why don't you do some live conversations?" I said, "All right, let me try it." So 19th yeah. of April, I remember starting it. Yeah, my brother helped me out because he played basketball. And started talking to him, talking to other people. And when I was online, a lot of people were coming in and commenting saying, I like this. I mean, yeah. This is dope. This is great, man. I like doing this. I like this kind of stuff. I've never seen this. So, well, I've got something ahead. And so, well, let me do a lot yeah, more. I like that. I like that. Like, and what's your um, like industry background kind of thing? Like, what were you doing before this? Um. I've always been doing basketball, so um, oh, okay. I've, always been, I've always been involved in basketball from young. Since I've been ten, I've been played it for a bit. Mm. So I played basketball, and I've always been involved in helping out with events and stuff. One of my backgrounds is customer service as well, so that plays a big hand into helping me with this. And I did study business for studies as well, but I'm back to learning okay. it again, so yeah. I can eventually turn this into a business. You know, so I talk to a lot of people who. Who ran events and who and learning how to get merchandise and you know a lot, a lot of things. Yeah, that, yeah, just all yeah. kind of put it all together, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. I like that, man. I like, that. I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that. It sounds unique and it sounds like you know because like I say, when I went to that show, that place was packed, yeah. and it felt like a like a night out or an evening yeah. out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I was like, I even saying to um, my brother who I went with was like. Yeah, this is this is like a different thing to do. Like, do you know what I mean? On a weekend, it's like, or particular days, like people might go to cinema, people might go to a bar, people might go to a club. Game, but, but it's like, yeah, we go to a game. Like, do you know what I mean? We had a couple beers, and do you know what I mean? We had a couple drinks, and it's like, oh, this is alright. Yeah, do you know what I, mean? so, yeah, I enjoyed that actually. actually. And if you if you travel to other teams in the league, like Manchester's packed. I went to a Manchester game, packed. I couldn't find it the seat. Is. So it's packed. So like you other see? places. Are, it's, it's good to know, man. These things open up our eyes to just different things because it's, it's, you know, it's good to enrich our minds sometimes with the different Definitely. things that are going on. And, you know, I mean, sometimes there's things going on in our own city, in our own town we don't know about. Do you know what I mean? You don't know about it. You just assume there's only, like I say, before I went to that thing, I never would have thought, oh, what should we do on a night out or an evening out? Let's go watch a basketball match. I, I never would have thought that until I went. It's like, yeah. oh, actually, yeah, we could, this is this is cool. Come chill, watch a game, bust some joke, have a couple of drinks, have some snacks. That's a night out. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can even take the kids. You know what I mean, yeah, exactly that. So I remember seeing kids there as well. So I'm like, this is this is actually like, you know, you can do this. Like I said, from when we walked in, luckily, like um, we got hooked up with some tickets, but there was like the line was building up, and I was like, raw, like there's a line. And then we got in and it was packed. And then half time, I think they must have played my song at half time as well, or something like that. Okay. So right. it was, it was like, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I've got some footage of it somewhere as well, still. So I was like, okay, okay, this is what we're doing. So yeah, no, that's no. cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, so that's it, man. So yeah, hopefully, just get it, keep pushing it and growing it, man. Grow the sport, grow the brand. That's it, man. Yeah. Oh, sorry, say that again. So yeah, pushing the sport and grow the brand. So that's that's the main that's the main aim now. Got ya. Yes, yeah, Mr. K. Nice one, Mr. K. Anyone who's in, add Tony's on Instagram. Is it Tony AS Official? Yeah, Tony AS yeah. Official um, on the Insta. Join me over there. So my life is literally stay at home dad, uh, yeah. rapper that loves singing, and now I'm just sharing my journey. So. You know, just see my day to day stuff, music stuff, daddy stuff. Try to go. entertain as go. much as I can and just, just and share my story. Really. And 10 terrible tips get that book as well, people. Yeah, man. Love, love, love. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got a link in my bio, guys. So, any, every and everything I do from the books to the clothes and the merchandise and things like that, it's all there. Yeah. So, yeah, do check me out. And obviously, links to all the streaming networks. I'm on all the favorite streaming networks. So, have a listen to the music as well. And hopefully, you know, it entertains or inspires in some shape or form. Nice. Definitely, man. All right, man. Tony, man, this has been a great one. I have loved this one, man. And thank, thank you, you bro. I'm on, happy bro. we got to do this. Um, thank Definitely. you so much for inviting me on. And, um, yeah, let me say, you're going to save it anyway, aren't you? So I'll make sure I keep yeah. sharing it. And, um, yeah. Well, I'm going to re-edit it up and look, make it look nice and put it okay. on the uh, what happened. 
So I uh, send really? the link yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you whenever you're done, uh, just tag me or whatnot, whatnot. And uh, yeah, we'll of course. Out, man. But yeah, this has been fun, man. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. And everyone else, have a good evening. Tony, have a good one. Say what's up to little Thank man. Tend to stay at the bed. <laughs> Thank you. See you guys later. Little man, stay at the bed. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. All right, people. Peace. Everything Chris. Everything Chris. Everything Chris. Everything, everything. Everything Chris. Everything Chris. Everything Chris. Everything, everything Chris. I'm Chris G, host of Everything Chris. Hope you liked that video. If you did, click that like button. Also, leave a comment. And also, if you want to see more, click that subscribe button to get a notification where we upload new content every single time. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you stay tuned for some more. And also, as you know with me, everything's always Chris. Everything, everything, everything Chris. Everything Chris. Everything Chris. Everything, everything Chris. Everything, everything, Chris.